All right, everybody. Happy False Flag Friday. All right, October 5th, 2018. And I'm going to put this out, and when I do these types of videos, I always hope to be wrong. But you know what? It stinks. The news stinks right now. They are being all about this Brett Kavanaugh shit and watch after this False Flag Friday, man. The protesters are out there. They are paid. They were wearing the t-shirts. All of them. The so This is all paid activism. And just look at the people. You can tell me they have jobs they left to go? Come on. Give me a break here. But why am I saying I smell a terror attack? Why do I feel that a terror attack might actually happen this weekend? Think about it. When have we had a major one? We haven't had one in quite a while. John Bolton comes out, all right, and besides what he said about counterterrorism and shit, where he's targeting Iran again, again, they say they're now abandoning Obama's policies, and they're talking about our sovereignty. Now, he has a fucking book about that, too, all right, but what else did this son of a bitch come out and say, John Bolton? I told you, they've been building a, t a totally anti-Iran panel since Trump became, quote-unquote, president. Let's go down here. Oh, look, even look at that book. How Barack Obama is endangering our national sovereignty, right? John Bolton. Hmm, yeah, let's see there. That's 2010. But let's go. What's the top thing coming out? Let's see. Oh, one day ago. John Bolton says Palestine is not a state. You guys can go read it. I'm not reading any articles today. I'm going to show you only one without reading too much of it, because I'm done with this shit, I see it on the fucking TV, I come out here, I show you quick Google searches of it, okay, so you can get the idea, my whole thing is always for people to look into things themselves, because people don't do it, alright, this isn't bashing those who watch and subscribe and, and support it, and you know, all the time, alright, this is the general, as a whole, the American people don't do it. They don't care. They will never look into anything. Just like they can't even get into the child sex abuse crap, Pope Francis, all of it being covered up right now. You make any mentions to it, people instantly are turned off. But they're all about Brett Kavanaugh. All right? So, White House targets Iran with new counterterrorism strategy. White House national security virus. Ah, Palestine's not a state. Again, that's why you gotta what? Look at White House approves broad new counterterrorism strategy coming from Russia. U.S. withdraws from international accords, says U.N. World Court, politicized. So, what else is going on with the U.N.? Is there anything with Israel in the U.N.? Let's do it in real time. Let's do it in real time. Because Mike Pence just came out too. And he uh, is blasting China that they're meddling in elections. And he's blasting others. And he gives no specifics, no anything, and then just walks off the stage. All right? Let's see here. Let's see. Trump, UN speech defines moral clarity. Jerusalem to remove UN agency for Palestinians from city. Gee, how the fuck did, was, did we just like show that without even reading the articles? Jerusalem to remove UN agency for Palestinians from city. Let's see. Let's go to seven hours ago, CBN, whoever the fuck they are, and let's take a quick look. Because again, doing a real time, guys, with a cell phone. All right, a cell phone, everybody. Jerusalem, the remove UN agency for Palestinians from city. Let's see. Jerusalem's mayor says he plans to remove a UN agency for Palestinian refugees from the city, accusing the body of operating illegally and promoting incitement against Israel. Now, what did I just show you before this? All right? I, I, I can't anymore. This country is a propaganda Zionist bullshit machine. Pence attacks China, predatory trade, coercion, military aggression. Slams China in new speech, Beijing says he's confusing, right? Let's see. Fires warning shots at China. We will not be intimidated. Now, what are you talking about? Now, I've been showing you what's been going on with Israel and China, the ports and crap like that. Now, just even a week ago, oh, look at this. Israel avoids trade wars, but keeps Chinese and Russia tech companies at arm's length. Let's see. 
unofficial ban prevents them. Russia is Casper from supplying p- p- products for critical infrastructure. Israel has sought to stay neutral in a trade war. U.S. President uh, Donald Trump is waging against China, in particular his technology ambitions, and has informally joined in Western boycotts. But behind the scenes, conversations with industry figures make clear that Israel has undeclared policy not to use equipment made by Huawei and ZTE, two major Chinese companies in telecoms networks, although they can do all although they can and do sell end user equipment like smartphones. Hmm, yeah. Gee. I, I mean, I thought I saw some shit about Israel in your text and how all their new startups are becoming a new thing. Hmm. You know? I, it's just kind of amazing how this type of shit is coming out. And then you have the Israel shit with Russia and the planes. I, I don't know. And what am I talking about with Israel tech? I mean, you guys want to go and just look up any recent news and see if I'm making shit up? Well, let's see if there's anything breaking on top news. I mean, I've seen it when I just search fucking Israel. It pops up. And let's just go. Let's just go. Lob stories. Using Israel's technological prowess to make the world a worse place. <laughs> and what did it come out talking about? Israel aerospace industry signs cybersecurity deal. Right? What was I just talking about? Was I just saying their tech shit is going on and stuff like hmm. Respond to startup nations push to tech fields. Israeli students. But wait a second. But who are we cutting out now out of that field? And now they're not using. Gee, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But there it is. I put some stuff out there. You guys can see it. You see Israel. You see the UN. You see John Bolton, anti-Iran. You saw what he was saying about Palestine. Okay? I'm out. Peace.